I said, Yeti, what's up? Hey, Tulsa, what's up? Damn, he almost fell over the damn up. Let me move this out the way. You all right? I seen that. Somebody always watch. Believe that. Tulsa, y'all got some good crack smoking motherfuckers out here. Do you hear it? I seen a motherfucker the other day smoke a whole motherfucking eight ball in 30 minutes. Do you hear me? In 30 minutes. The after effect was amazing though. He cleaned up the whole motherfucking parking lot. Piece by piece, pebble by pebble. I said, damn, man, what are you on? Don't worry about it. That new shit. I don't want none of that shit. I know a motherfucker right now, man. He won't hurt nobody. Won't do nothing to nobody. But he'll cuss everybody the fuck out. But he go home to bed bugs too. He cuss the motherfuckers out too. He tell me every day. It's my neighbor. I'm not gonna talk about him because I love him, but I'm gonna talk about his motherfucking ass. <laughs> fuck the man in the bed bugs. He said them bad bugs kept me up all goddamn night. <laughs> them motherfuckers was eating me up. Somebody just stole my whiskey, my weed gone. I'm fucked up, man. But fuck them, man. These motherfuckers got me fucked up tonight. I said, man, chill out, man. Chill out, man. I gave him something to roll up. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I love old people, but I hate old people in Walmart. You know the motherfuckers that's gotta look at your receipt after they see you can come from the cash register, they pay for it. You be like, damn man, what the fuck? You just seen me pay. Can I see your receipt? But you know what? I'm getting old. That's what the fuck I wanna do when I retire. I want to work at Walmart. <laughs> Could you imagine me at the door? Hi, welcome to Walmart. Hope you find every fucking thing you're looking for. <laughs> you know, my first break, I would just go down to candy aisle and see what new candy came out, eat it, and throw the wrapper in the floor. And as people leave, I'll be like, did you find every fucking thing you were looking for? <laughs> if not, come the fuck back. We might have it. After telling that to about three people, somebody gonna walk up to the manager and say, hey man, that old guy is rude. He just told me to come the fuck back. Here comes the manager's security. I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'm out of here, man. You don't even know me. Just go check out two and three. All the candy wrappers right there. That was me. <laughs> I'll take that as a paycheck because I get SSI and disability. <laughs> but I, you know, I hate my job. But I'm not like any other American. You love the money, but you hate the work. I hate the I hate the boss that has a hot breath. And every word he says start with the letter H. <laughs> so, and he's talking to you. You'd be like, <laughs> Can you back up a little bit? You don't want to be rude to him. You want to be like, hey, man, here's a Mentos, man. Like, you need that shit. <laughs> but I love my job, though, man. I don't do shit. I'm a boxer. Yeah, look at me, I'm a hot box, believe it or not. I put shit in the box and I take that motherfucker up and I put it on a motherfucking pallet. I'm undefeated, nigga. Real shit. Hey man, they told me not to say an N-word, so I'm not gonna talk about my neighbors, man. I live on 91st and Riverside. In a big-ass house. With a 
black haired chick walking around butt ass naked every day. Nah, that's an imagination right there. That shit, cause that shit sounded true. She's like, God, I wish that was me. I'm just fucking with you. But y'all good, man. I love y'all, man. I love Tossin, man. I'm from Mississippi, man. Give it up for Mississippi, man. We ain't got shit. Damn. This is the first time Mississippi ever got love, man. <laughs> shit. We got the Confederate flag, and I bet they don't take care of that. I bet they don't. I bet they don't ex that motherfucker. The Confederate flag is in the Mississippi state flag. And, and it's part of the flag. And they're not going to get rid of that flag. <laughs> I guarantee you that. No matter what. But, uh, I love race, man. But, uh, I had a guy that I thought was racist at my job. I'm like, man, you just fuck with me because I'm black, man. He was like, no, man. I like black people, man. I had a black dude at my wedding. I thought about it. I'm like, if you know how many motherfucking black people were at your wedding, you're pretty racist, buddy. <laughs> I can picture you walking down the road. There's a black dude. <laughs> That's fucked up. And then, and then as I went on talking to him, I'm like, I want to see how educated he was. I said, first of all, where are you from? Alabama. That says a lot. <laughs> Roll Tide! <laughs> Losers. Uh, but uh, I went on ahead and talked to him, and he said, uh, why do they put, he said, have you ever wondered why they put cotton in a medicine bottle? In my mind, I'm like, no, nah, I don't know. He said, that's to remind black people that you were cotton pickers before you were drug dealers. I didn't like that, man, but it was funny as shit. Like, <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that shit. That was smart. When you get the pills, you don't think about that shit. You throw that shit away and find out who's trying to buy the pills. Like, you put a lot of thought in that. That's, man, you're a goddamn comedian. But y'all great, man. I love y'all, man. That's my time. I'm going to give it up to y'all.